Hey everybody, just showing you what I'm cooking up in the lab. <laughs> Say, uh, ESP32, uh, ESP32 powered project. Um, it's a weather station. So you can see here, here's the, with a seven inch e-ink um, display. We got ourselves a battery. I got basically an extension cord that'll, you know, USB-C that'll charge the battery, whatnot. And uh, what it's sitting on is this case. So this display sits in here and we're gonna jam all that crap in here and then put the cover on and uh, start using it. So let's, uh, let's do that. I'll show you it uh, assembled, hang on. I wanna show you guys the hardest part of this whole project is getting the display plugged into the display board inside of this uh, case here. Uh, I used a pair of tweezers and held the held the cable and then kind of slid it in and then carefully closed the little latch on the back here. So I'm just gonna use some of this, uh, like, I don't know what they call this kind of tape. Like, it's like st sticky two-sided silicone tape. They, I forget what they call this, nano tape or something. But I'm just going to stick these various boards down, you know, the battery or whatever I'm going to do. And we're just going to get this stuck in here and then we can sit this thing upright. All right, everybody, I just wanted to show you, we got the, uh, uh, the SP32 in there. Here's the wiring. I've got my, I've got a focus, a DHT11. So that's like humidity and temperature. That's for indoor humidity and temperature. And then underneath the battery, you can see we've got our... LCD driver board. I'm gonna just uh, let me move you back a little bit here. We're gonna push the battery down a little bit like that. We're gonna attach uh, our USB uh, flexible USB extension, USB C, and we're gonna come out the back here, right here, and then uh, we're gonna put the top on, uh, the bottom on. So let's uh, do that, and we'll be done. All right, everybody, here it is. It's uh, sitting in the groove. You can see that I've got my my base on, and then I just need to put some screws in it. And then from the back side, there's just a USB-C sticking out. That will um, charge uh, the LiPo that's in there. Um, this ESP32 that I got's a particular um, flavor, and it does um, it has a lithium-ion charging in it, as well as a, a little spot to put in a JST connector so you can get a battery, a LiPo battery with a JST and plug it right in there. Uh, these are perfect for like weather stations or things that you want to leave a long time. I think this was like a couple thousand milliamp hour, maybe even three, four or five thousand milliamp hour battery. So uh, let's, uh, we'll turn it back around. I don't, it, we'll, we'll see if it updates here, but uh, yeah, it should be good to go. Hang on a second. All right, so I just plugged it in. What does it see? Is it gonna? Is it gonna say anything? It doesn't have the. It doesn't have the time on it. Just the date. Um, you can see that the battery's charging down here. Excellent, eighty-seven percent. But uh, yeah, if there was something wrong, it would have. It would have said something here like Wi-Fi not connected or whatever. You know, it's hard when you turn these these e-ink displays. They um, they just remember the last. Um, image that was on them or was written to them so you won't really notice um, until later that they've changed I think this thing updates once every five minutes no once every five minutes or once every 30 minutes I forget um, I'll share with you guys all the uh, the project the uh, 3d printed files that's what I, I 3d printed this you know all the hardware uh, and the uh, the github repo where I got all this uh, info from. But uh, yeah, I thought you might, you guys might like to check this out and uh, we'll see you on the next one, all right? Easy. And I forgot, there is a little date and time kind of right here, it says 6.30, but it, that was the last time it updated. Um, so that, that will change every time it updates, but yeah. Hey, you're not gonna believe this, guys. Uh, I think I bumped the cord or something and it fell right on the display. <laughs> ah, and these screens are like 50, 60 bucks.
Oh well, guess I'm fixing it. I enjoyed it for about 30 seconds. We'll see you guys.